Okay, hopefully I am bright enough. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Huh. Well, this is a crazy day. Oh, somebody's piped in. I wonder if they count me as a person who's actually in. I wondered about that. Because I'm in. And I'm one person. So I wonder who's going to show up. It is a rainy and dreary day today. I guess you could call it a forced day of rest for me. Not doing a whole lot. Got all kinds of stuff I need to do, but not doing it today. Angel, is, of course, is in her spot. Yeah, I know, Angel. Yeah. Oh, good morning, Trish. How you doing? So glad you could join me. And I think there's one other person here. They haven't said hi yet. So, how are things over your way? It's kind of uh, dreary here. Not doing too bad, considering. Um, had a bit of a rough week. Oh, and there's Brandon's Outdoor Adventures. Hi, how are you doing? I guess people are starting to pop in here. Oh, man, we're going to get that tomorrow, and I am so looking forward to it. <laughs> <coughs> Don't mind me. Okay, doing well, Brandon. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, I tell you, it, it's it's been a little rough. Um, we, uh, y'all saw my video about Sissy, so, um, but, uh, it's tragic lessons to learn, but I can honestly say that lessons were learned, um, and uh, I'll go into that in a minute. But this week, it's been absolutely crazy. I've been driving the guys around, uh, and uh, they've been like looking at jobs and uh, working at different job sites, and uh, this week, I had to take my husband into an urgent care um he had a, a pain in his in his side and uh he didn't know what was going on he he thought it felt like he had cracked a rib or something which he hadn't done anything to crack a rib um but he could have pulled a muscle or something if he you know slept the wrong way or something who knows so i finally um took him into the urgent care and um they took his temp when he got there, and he had a slightly elevated temperature. Okay, and of course, you know what that means. That means that they would not take him in to examine him, and they would not do a physical examination. However, they did do a COVID test on him. So, um... We just got the results back yesterday and it was negative. And I'm not surprised because he didn't go anywhere. He went nowhere. And I was very limited as to where I went. So, you know, chances were very slim that I got it and passed it on to him. Um, so, yeah, I'm not surprised. He didn't, he, he didn't have it. So. My guys are breathing a sigh of relief because if he had had it, then it would have meant that I would have been forced to go into a two-week quarantine, which would have been inconvenient for them, but I think they would have been all right. It would have been inconvenient for me, but it, but then again, it would have been maybe a plus because I would be home, staying home, doing what needs to be done here. So, but that turned out good. It was a little stressful to begin with because we, we didn't know. We didn't know, um, but uh, everything's good. Everything's fine. Um, and uh, 
I've been working around here. Um, got a little bit done yesterday. Uh, it's been a little difficult to record uh, videos. Um, either the weather hasn't been good because I can't have my phone out when there's a chance of rain um, on a tripod. And I've managed to get a few clips here and there. But it seems like every time I go to record a video, I'm getting phone calls. And it's like, it, it was just crazy. It's just, you know, the weird times, you know. So I, I've just got these little short clips. And it's like, okay, how am I going to put these together as a video? You know, um, I haven't figured that out yet. Um, plus, I haven't really been sitting a lot. I've been leaving in the morning. And there are some days that I get, I don't get home till late. Um, it's just been crazy. Um, and, uh, but yeah, it, it's just the times we're, we're living in, you know, um, there was one good thing that happened, um, is that, as you know, I've been driving these certain Amish gentlemen to their jobs. Um, and it's only this select group. Okay. Small group that I drive. I don't drive for anybody else. Only these guys. Okay, and that's that's all I want. That's all I have time for. And actually, whether or not I have time for them is on question. But uh, anyway, uh, the um, I don't know if nobody's talking or if my chat has froze up. I, I don't know. But anyway, I'll just keep on talking, I guess. So, um, so anyway, they they do construction. Okay, it's what they do. They build a lot of barns and stuff like that. Okay, um, and they've been rather busy. And of course, you know, with Amish, they don't own cars or a bunch of other stuff. Um, yes. Okay. I see you, Trish. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh, so anyway, they had been borrowing trailers to get the equipment and supplies that they needed. And, um, you know, it's, how many people were willing to lend their trailers out? Well, they had a few friends that were, were willing to do that. Um, but, you know, you've it's got to be convenient for the people you're borrowing it from. And, you know, that we have to go get the trailer and then we have to return the trailer. And it's like, and this last straw was um, they needed a trailer to get lumber to a job site. And um, the trailer that they were offered that they could use, it worked fine for what they had to transport back to their property, but for getting the, the lumber the next morning and taking over, it was really sketchy. And I mean, the guys were like on pins and needles as to, you know, whether or not we would get there in one piece and with everything intact. Um, and, uh, Oh, good morning, Donna. <laughs> you found me. Uh, uh, anyway, the, um, so the trailer, I said, we made it and we returned it, but the one guy had had enough. That was it. He had had enough. And he said, do you have time to take me to the bank that morning? It was a rainy day. They weren't going to be doing too much. So we went and then he says, do you mind if we take a trip over to Lowe's and um, the tractor supply? I knew exactly what he was doing. Exactly. I said, okay, I need to go anyway. So we went and we looked. He didn't find anything he liked. But we did go to a local farm supply store. And he found what he liked, the size he wanted. And so now, whether I want to or not, I am the proud owner of a utility trailer. <laughs> At least on paper. That's what the Amish do. They buy what they need. And if it's something that they're not technically supposed to own, well then, like in my case, he sold it to me for a dollar. And my name is on the title. And what that means is that they have a trailer that they can use 
anytime they need one and they can leave the equipment on there. They can leave their supplies on there. Okay. And also I have the use of it if I need it when they're not using it. And I'm thinking, Oh, that means this year I might not have to have my square bales delivered, which would mean it would be cheaper for me. So, and also if I need to get building supplies, I can get sheet goods if I need them because getting sheet goods into my truck, it's a little sketchy. I mean, I can do it, but you know, it's, if they were, if the store was closer, it'd be, I'd feel a little bit better about it, but you know, you do what you got to do, right? So we've got a trailer. <laughs> uh, we're happy that it is, um, that they can now do the job that they need to do. Now, the title of this live stream, Lessons Learned. Like I said, uh, you saw my video about the, um, about Sissy. And I tried with what I had and the knowledge I had to do what I could for her. And the best said I did right. I did what needed to be done. But what I found out after the fact, um, one of the people that uh, my guys have been working for, they have goats and they're very nice people. And um, they're more than willing to help you out and I talked to her about you know what I've been going through and and uh and what I did and and she says that yeah the worms are bad here in Kentucky the barber pole they're really bad hi Jean how you how you doing it's raining here in northern Kentucky too yes yes I think maybe possibly the very southern border of Kentucky might not be getting the rain, but from about midway up, maybe a little bit below midway. Yeah, it's miserable. So anyway, um, what, what I did wrong probably and cost poor sissy her life. I did not give enough warmer. See, I know horses and I know what I can do with horses. Okay, and I know the volume, the volume that I can give them. The goats are a smaller animal. So I was thinking, okay, I, I got to gauge this down to their size. Well, um, I should have given her more warmer than what I did. Um, ruminants are different. Now, be honest, I don't know if, even if I had given her sufficient dosage if it would have helped her i don't know um because like i said i didn't get home till 7 30 and she was already you know in a state where she was not energetic enough to get up and away from me and that's like that was not sissy sissy was like she didn't want nothing to do with me so um so i went and got some other warmer and I was like freaking out because they're all larger quantities and a large sum of money. Uh, Cause most of the people around here do cattle. Okay. And um, so I was like, I, I just, I thought I was afraid that if I bought that, that, okay, they had it locked up and um, I couldn't read the shelf life. I didn't know what the shelf life would be. Um, and this lady that I was talking to about the goats, she said, it doesn't matter. The vet will even tell you it doesn't matter. Shelf life. Okay. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Okay. So, um, so now I know I'll, I'll, when I go back, um, I'll get larger quantity of warmer because what I did have, I worked the goats last night. I, I did, um, I checked them all last night. Okay. Again, I had the, she had given me a syringe um, for measuring out the proper dosage and um, and the warmer that I had. I had enough to do three goats, um, but only two needed to be treated. Now, one is kind of like he was kind of borderline. That's Billy. Um, but um, 
I'll probably check him again in a couple days. Um, because he was the next to last goat that I checked, and I wanted to check the other goat, see which one was the worst off. And the last goat that I was able to catch, she was fine. She looked good. Billy was like, eh, I probably could have given him to him. So, and that's one thing the vet said, and this, um, this lady that I was talking to, um, she said, this, this is true. Only worm the ones you need to worm. Don't worm the whole herd. Only the ones that need it. So, how's your little male goat doing? Um, I'm assuming you mean a uh, little man, the one that I um, banded. Uh, he's doing fine. He's doing fantastic. Uh, he's got good color. Um, the only problem I have with him is he's still nursing. And he's well old enough that he doesn't need to be nursing anymore. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a setup just yet where I can segregate him from his mother. Um, I'm working on it. I got to build a chicken coop and I figure I can stick him in the, in the chicken coop before I have chickens. And, um, for just, you know, probably a week, it probably be more than enough time to keep him segregated for mama to dry up. Uh, mama will be upset about it because that's her little boy. And you can tell that that's her little boy because she won't anybody get near him. It's like, <sighs> seriously, this goat dotes on her son. Seriously. So <laughs> it's almost comical. But, you know, it is. If I could just catch it on video, you know, you could see what I'm talking about. But I don't have my phone with me, or it's charging, or it's doing something else, you know, when she's doing this. So I can't catch it. I haven't been able to yet, anyway. Um, but she definitely dotes on her son. Um, so, but he's, he will be separated at some point as soon as I get to where I can, uh, get this chicken coop started and, and, uh, get a fenced in area for him because I don't trust the electric to, um, to hold him in. If he really wants to get to his mama, he'll get through. So, you know, that's part of having goats and I am so far behind with all my goals you know, um, what are you going to do now? Livestock, other livestock. Uh, haven't had the chance to take the video. I've been so busy, but yes, there is a new addition on the property. It is not chicks. Hopefully I will be able to get a video done and uploaded this week. You know, we're going on the Creek. Don't rise well, with all the rain. The Creek's probably going to rise, but that's okay. It won't hurt me any. Um, the um, I have been trying to get chicks. And as you all know, there's been a run on chicks. Craziness. Um, but I'm after a particular breed. And the hatchery that I went through, um, they've been having problems with a hatch. They haven't been able to get them to hatch. So I don't know what's going on. Um, I told them to keep for that right now anyway to keep me on their list. And if they get a hatch, you know, then send me a batch. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to work on my chicken coop and try and get that done. Um, so, um, you know, hopefully we'll have chickens here before too long. Uh, do have some other chicks that uh, that were ordered locally. I'm waiting to hear if uh, the order can be fulfilled. Um, hopefully, I'll be in touch with that person over the next day or two, and you know, I'll, at least I'll have some. It's not the main breed that I wanted, but it, it, this is another breed that I like. 18 chicks. Oh, good for you. What breed did you get, Jean? Because there's, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of options out there. Um, I could have gotten some meat chicks at Tractor Supply. What will be the purpose of the chickens? The chickens will be multi-purpose. Okay, they will be for eggs. And when I have eggs coming, we will be eating a lot more eggs than what we do now. Because I just I guard my eggs jealously, and we only have them, you know like once or maybe twice a week, but rarely twice. 
Okay, so mainly for, for eggs. <clears throat> um, also for helping to control uh, insect population. Uh, ticks, they will eat ticks as well as the guineas. Um, also to help break up the manure from the horses so that uh, I won't have as much of a parasite issue. Uh, well, Forbingtons and Isa Browns. Yeah, all right. You spilled the beans. You spilled the beans, Jean. Those are the two breeds. I was going to get, uh, Buff Orbitans is the main one I wanted. But if I could have gotten some Isa Browns locally from the tractor supply, because they've always had them, then I would pick up a few. The problem with, um, with tractor supply is they require that you buy six chicks. I wasn't sure I wanted six chicks. So I haven't committed to the Isa Browns yet. But Isa Browns, they're mainly an egg layer. That's what they're known for. Okay. The Buff Orpingtons, they are a dual purpose bird. Okay. So beyond the eggs and the um, and the tick control and the parasite control, um, the other thing that they would be used for, and primarily extra roosters, because I did order a straight run, is um, for butchering. Okay. Uh, not a lot. Like I said, um, mainly roosters, because you only need so much testosterone on a farm. And if I don't butcher a rooster and I sell them to somebody else, that's probably what they're going to be for. Because you only need so many roosters. You know, it's a fact of life. And the more you have, the more trouble you have. You are kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> So, but the um, the Buff Hormington is a really good dual purpose breed. Um, I've had them before. I like them. I like the size of them. Um, and they did well foraging. So, you know, that would be my main breed. But I do want additional breeds. Um, Jean, if you don't mind me asking, where what hatchery did you go through to get your Buff Hormingtons? Because if, if I can't get them from this other hatchery that I ordered them from, I may have to cancel my order with them and go someplace else. But I'm not in a huge hurry right now because I've got to get the chicken coop done because I have to have someplace to transfer them to. And I've I built two brooder boxes. Uh, one brooder box is occupied. Oh, you got them through tractor supply? Huh. Because I asked my local tractor supply and... Um, they said they don't usually carry them. I guess I could order them, but I have to ask them again and see uh, see about that. Uh, what do you know? No, if you don't mind me asking, how much they charged you per chick? If you don't mind me asking, because I found that they were I don't know, a little bit pricey on some of their breeds. Um. Their uh, their meat birds weren't too bad. They were um, two fifty at two two fifty a piece, I believe. About that, but I'm not getting just meat birds. I I, I don't want to get into that. Not not at this stage anyway, because this is the thing, thing with the meat birds. They grow very fast, and you pretty much have to butcher them. And I don't want to have to go through that. They get in different breeds every week. Four dollars each. Wow. Wow, that's expensive. I thought it was anyway. Or maybe it's just I haven't bought chicks for a while. And I haven't. I haven't bought chicks in years. Because when I was uh when I had them up in New Jersey, I raised my own chicks. You know, I bred my own. Um, so it's been a while since I've had to buy chicks. But I pretty much have to since um, I have none here. <laughs> but uh, I'm getting, uh, like I said, hopefully this uh, this local person um, will be able to get me this other breed that um, I saw them. I liked them. Um, nice big bird. So I'm hoping that I can get those. And that will get me started until I can get the buffs. Um, but... Uh, I thought that was high too, yeah. Well, I could, yeah. You're probably right, Gina. I may have to just bite the bullet and pay more. 
you know i mean it is what it is and but once i get them like i said i want a straight run so I, so i would have a rooster or two and um and then i can just breed my own you know and uh that was another thing about the chickens not only would they be for eggs parasite control insect control um and possible butchering they'd also be um a source of income because i would breed the the chickens and i would sell the pullets well sell the extra roosters too um let's see they were selling out quickly i uh, guess that's what i've heard i have heard that the tractor supplies are all that and even the other uh, stores that sell chicks that they've been going through them like crazy and it's like like i was saying to somebody earlier that what concerns me is you have people that are panic buying these these animals and they don't know anything about them okay chickens are pretty hard to screw up okay they're, they're pretty easy but there's gonna be there's gonna be people that are gonna lose patience because they're not going to produce like they think they're going to produce, you know, and, and they just, they don't know what they're getting into. And that's the sad part, really. I mean, hey, if they've done their research and they, they've they figured out, okay, we've got to wait, you know, upwards of six months before they start laying. There's some breeds that, that lay sooner than six months, you know, but if you have, have an Orpington, there's six months before they start laying, okay? Um, so it, it, there's, People are going to lose patience. And if raising them in the house, I've raised chicks in the house, okay? And there weren't that many. Okay, they stink. You raise any kind of thing like that in house, it stinks. You got to stay up on it. You got to be proactive on it. Or you're going to, your house is going to reek, okay? I tell you. And I was working a full time job at the time. So, yeah, I will never raise chicks in the house again. And if I can uh, manage to have a couple of broody hens, I won't be putting them in a brooder box either. <laughs> but like I said, that's me. If I can, if the animals can handle the, the, um, the breeding and the upkeep, more power to them. That's what I like. Which is why I went with the Kiko goats, because they have a reputation of being excellent mothers with having very few difficulties. Not saying that you don't ever have difficulties, because there's, there's always that possibility. But the probability is a lot lower with the Kikos than some of the other breeds. So that's why I went that way. Um, I'm hoping the buffs will go broody. Yeah, they, they are a breed that does go broody. Now, Leghorns do not go broody. Now, that is, um, they had Leghorns at the tractor supply when I was there on Friday. And I was tempted, and if, if I could get just a couple then I would have gotten just a couple, okay? But I have to buy six. I don't want six leghorns. I've had leghorns. I'm not terribly fond of the breed, um, but they are a fairly reliable egg layer. So I just wanted a couple, you know, just to kind of um, add a little bit of variety to my egg laying. So, but hey, you know, if they don't want to sell me just a couple, then I'm not, I won't get them. That's all there is to it. I'll see if I can get them somewhere else. Or maybe I somebody will, you know, want to split them with me. You know, I'd, I'd even take three. You know, if if somebody else wanted three leghorns and I want three, I'd, I'd be willing to, you know, buy the six and we'll just split them, you know. But I, I wasn't in a hurry to do it at that time. So we'll see what happens. Um, so, yeah, what was I Okay, we covered sissy. We covered the worming. Like I said, I worked on the. And I, I'll tell you one thing: I definitely have to make is a crush type some an, an aisleway system for um, for separating the goats. Because I've got this one goat. I tell you, I am going to change her name. I'm going to change it to Slippery Samson Samantha because she was so hard to catch last night. And that's Coco, the brown one. So <laughs> I've heard about Welsomers. Okay. I love the Welsomer roosters. Okay. And if I could get my hands on a Welsomer rooster to crossbreed with my buffs, I would be a happy woman. Uh, I'm not sure how the hens are. Um, 
Some people like them, some people don't. But I think that they are, I've heard that they are a decent breed. Um, but it's the roosters that I really like. So I I don't know if I can get a well just a well summer rooster or not. I'll be looking at it. Ah, let's before I forget, there is another major announcement I need to make. Um I've had problems with this for years. I haven't been able to do it. And I don't know why all of a sudden. Oh, okay. Light on. I finally was able to do it this morning. I am now on Facebook. It's Honey Hollow is the name uh, for me on Facebook. Okay. So if anybody out there is on Facebook... You look for Honey Hollow, and that's me. Okay? Uh, yeah. Homestead has those kind. Yes, he does. Yeah. Unfortunately, he's a little too far away from me. But I tell you, if he was closer, I'd be hitting him up for a Wellsomer rooster. I certainly would. But who knows? You know, maybe... One of these days, my travels will take me in his direction. Maybe his travels will take him in my direction. And maybe, because I would love to have a Wilson or Rooster from him. But you know what? That's not right this minute. We've got other things we got to deal with first, right? So, <laughs> but we do have, hopefully this week, I will be able to reveal to you. I haven't even posted on Instagram because the picture I took, was a terrible picture and I just have not had the chance to get out there and see if I can't get something better. It's just been one of those crazy weeks. It's just, you know, everybody has them once in a while, right? So hopefully I get out there and I will get a picture of the new additions to my homestead. Uh, they will be of benefit. Um, I really like this breed a lot. I did not get the exact that I wanted, um, but there's some indications that maybe I might have some. Just honey hollow. Yes. Oh, no. Are there a bunch of. Oh, man. Well, okay. I don't have a picture yet posted on there. Um, the picture that I'm going to hope to, to put on there is um, of honey. So. When I get that, um, I didn't have one on my, on my computer. I might have one on my phone of a, of a good, good picture of honey. If I get that on there, then you can look for me there. Um, I, I'm, I'm still new with it that Facebook has changed a lot since the last time I was on it. And no, I could not go through my previous account. I tried and I don't know. It's all screwed up. I couldn't get, couldn't get the password or anything. So it's like, you know, fully on it. That's all shut down, I guess. I think Facebook shut it down or something. I don't know. Uh, farm, kennel, etc. whole bunch of them. Oh, what did I put? Uh, like I said, I've only just opened it up. Uh, I did put a link uh, on, my, um, on my YouTube channel. Okay. So there's a link up in the banner um, for my channel. There's a Facebook link. So I think if you if you click on that, you ought to be able to get to my Facebook page. Like I said, there's nothing hardly on it yet. Um, I did post a picture of uh, the first two goats of mine. To Facebook yet? Uh, just a really brief comment and the picture of the goats. Um, I do not have um, my, a photo for for me yet, which nobody wants to see my mug. I, like I said, I'm going to put a picture of honey on there. That's the plan. Um, so, but there is a link on my YouTube channel for my Facebook page. So, and bear with me. Why is my, oh, hold on a second, guys. Uh, is that what the problem is? Let me see.